Ladies and gentlemen. Make a solo, decreed a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. ask you what what are we who are we well we are Americans we share common hopes we share common dreams we share common aspirations we're going through common struggles I mean the fact of the matter is is that everybody here and I look at this audience and it's representative of the country everybody here is connected in some fashion uh, and our success and our children's success uh, is tied up uh, together and so I think most Americans feel that way, mm -hmm. but what is still true is, is that you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain, right? a, 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 that, that part of our brain that if somebody looks different or sounds different, that there's a part of us that is cautious. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is fight against that, and that's part of what Shirley Sherrod was trying to say in the speech, if you actually read the whole speech, she was acknowledging I have my own biases based on my experiences, but if I am able to look inward and reflect, then I can get beyond my biases. And that's an exercise. I couldn't help at one point in my discussions with, privately with General Secretary Gorbachev. When you stop to think that we're all God's children, wherever we may live in the world, I couldn't help but say to him, just think how easy his task and mine might be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside in the universe we'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together Well. I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us, we can bring about that realization. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? I think maybe I'd answer it this way. I, I keep in my frustration sometimes you know, actually, if you count some of the things going on in smaller countries and all, there have been about 114 wars since World War II. But I've often wondered, what if all of us in the world discovered that we were threatened by an outer a power 
from outer space, from another planet, wouldn't we all of a sudden find that we didn't have any differences between us at all? We were all human beings, citizens of the world, and wouldn't we come together to fight that particular threat? President Bill Clinton is here with us, so... Anniversary of Roswell. Stop about an hour away and put on special clothing and then drive in and out. And that's because a lot of our stealth technology is made there. We know that now, and, and, but there are no aliens there. So okay. then I, when the Roswell thing came up, I knew we'd get, you know, zillions of letters. So I had all the Roswell papers reviewed, everything. If you saw that there were aliens there, would you tell us? Yeah. You would. <laughs> I would. I would. So I think, look, what do we know? We know now we live in an ever-expanding universe. We know that there are billions of stars and planets literally out there, and the universe is getting bigger. We know from our fancy telescopes that just in the last two years, more than 20 planets have been identified outside our solar system that seem to be far enough away from their suns and dense enough that they might be able to support some form of life. So it makes it increasingly less likely that we're alone. Oh, you're trying to give me a hint that there are aliens. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you I don't know. Oh. But if we were visited someday, I wouldn't be surprised. I just hope that uh, it's not like Independence Day. Yeah, right. Movie, that it's, a, you know, a, a conflict. Well, now we have friendly Maybe aliens. the only way to unite this incredibly divided world of ours. They're out there, we better... Think of how all the differences among people on Earth would seem small if we felt threatened by a space invader. That's the whole theory of independence. You're right. You're Everybody right. Everybody gets together and makes nice and, you know... You and Bill O'Reilly would be hiding in a bunker together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bill O'Reilly, he'd be every mean thing he ever said about me. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't care. Look at that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open citizen to shrink from controversy. I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people, confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be.
free and independent.